Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the CSS pointer events property. Okay, so this property right here is fairly straightforward in how it works and basically you can use it to determine whether or not an element can be the target of pointer events. Okay, so if I was to put it simply, uh, you can use this property to disable certain elements from being interacted with by the mouse. So for example, uh, you can use this property to disable links or you know prevent buttons from being clicked on and everything uh, on those lines okay so in this video I'm gonna be taking you through a few examples uh, one of them and the first one being um, disabling a link using the pointer events property so as we can see right here I've got this link to google.com if I was to press on the link of course currently it's working perfectly fine so let's disable this link right here using the pointer events property so inside the text editor right here, we can see I've got the anchor tag with an ID of my link. So let's target this link inside the CSS and we're going to be setting um, the pointer events property just like this. And as we can see, I have many different values to choose from. Unfortunately, uh, most of these uh, values are specific to SVG only. And the SVG support uh, is currently not too good. I believe it is coming out in the next revision of CSS, but I'm not entirely sure. But for now, you do want to stick to, um, you know, using uh, something like the none value. So you're going to want to use none or auto. So right now, by setting this to be none, we are disabling pointer events on this element. So if I was to save this and then refresh, we can see that if I was to try to click on the link, it is not working. Okay, so um, we can even see that the actual cursor for my mouse has not changed when hovering over the link. So that is basically how it works. Now, this logic applies also to JavaScript event listeners. So if I was to go back inside here now, and if I was to get a reference to the link within JavaScript, so I can say right here, const my link equal to document.getElementById and pass through here my link then I can say my link dot add event listener pass through here click then I can say when this gets clicked on I want to alert and I want to say um, you know hey Dom for example so now saving this and refreshing we can see right here if I was to click on the link once again unfortunately the alert does not display of course that is due to the pointer events property so if I was to go back inside here now and just remove the pointer events of none we should now see the link is going to work perfectly fine both in the JavaScript but also the redirect to Google so saving this and refreshing we can see the alert works and of course also it's going to go to google.com so that is basically how the point to events property works now i do want to show you one more uh, sorry uh, one more example um you know using a parent and a child element okay so let's just remove all of this stuff and uh, replace this anchor tag with um my outer div okay and also right here my inner div just like that so now let's just target the my outer div and for this one we can set a width of 300 pixels and a height of let's just do 100 pixels and a background of let's just make this a medium gray just like that okay we can then target the my inner div and for this one we can just make this a height of 50 as well as the width also of 50 and right here we can say background and make this crimson okay um, so now of course saving this and refreshing we get something like this so we're going to be applying the pointer events property to the outside or um, the outer div and set that to be none and then we're going to try to click on the inner div using of course uh, event listener within JavaScript okay so let's go back inside here and set like I said this to pointer events of none then uh, in the JavaScript I'm just going to copy this right here and then paste this for the previous example and we should now see right here an alert of hey Dom when clicking on the inner div let's save this and then refresh and now if I was to click on it we can see right there it does not work now the reason for that is because if I was to go inside the inspector 
We can see right here the inner div it has inherited the pointer events property from the parent my outer div. Okay, so if I want to explicitly enable pointer, uh, uh, pointer events for the inner div, I can simply set the property on the inner div as well as of course the outer div. So now let's go back inside here and set the pointer events property right down here to auto. Okay, so now by setting it to auto, it's going to re-enable the event. So if I was to save this and refresh once again, we can now see if I was to click on the inner div, it's working perfectly fine. So that right there is the CSS pointer events property. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.